Hello, beloved. Um, we have a series that's uh, a little bit advanced. When when the Lord showed me, I want to uh, talk about this. Uh, I was I was writing in uh, in the journal or in the place where I take notes about this. This is too advanced. <laughs> but uh, he he wanted to share this. And my trust in the Holy Spirit is that He's going to bring it to you exactly where you are and exactly what your need for growth is. You're going to receive it exactly in the package <laughs> wrapped around as you need to receive it. With the explanation, with... Um, a way of experiencing that it's going to absolutely bless you. So that's my trust. I bless you, Father, because every words that you are delivering, uh, they are full of life, full of power to do what you send them to do. And the beloved, in the special ones, in the ones that are receiving these words, they are blessed and increased. Thank you, Father. So we'll uh, we'll continue talking about rest. And the seventh day, God ended work and rested. Right. So these are important things because the work had to do with saying. And on the seventh day, God ended His work which He had made, and He rested on the seventh day from all His work which He had made. <laughs> it's an accomplishment, it's an ending and entering in a realm of rest. Right? So, um, we, we said this before, that the mark of the soul of the Son is rest. How do you know the Son of God is, is changing, is working in your soul? Is that because it's revealing rest? Hebrews 4, 9, very well known by the rest lovers, a very well known verse, theref therefore remains a rest for the people of God. For he who has entered his rest has himself also ceased from his works as God did from his. Ceased from his works as God did from his. But you end first and then you enter rest, right? As he did. So rest, in, in, um, in another word for rest, is the Sabbath. It's the place of completion and oneness. Listen to this. Oneness between the work and the worker. It's a place of completeness and new beginnings. Oneness between the work and the the worker. Very important, very powerful this realm and this revelation of rest. It's translated the, the, the word to cease, to desist, to rest. So the primary idea it's the one of sitting down to sit still. So sitting down it's almost like you walked a lot, you're tired, and you cannot wait. Oh, okay, I'm sitting down. But at the same time, it's the beginning of something else. You are sitting down on the throne to um, have authority, to govern. The rest is the place where the doing and the being become one. <laughs> you are doing because you are being. And you are being 
because of his doing. <laughs> the son can do nothing of himself. That's rest right there. He does what the father is doing. Um, my words are the works of my father, said Jesus. His works is your being and your doing is because of you being. The place where all the doing gets converted into being, thus getting eternal existence. Jesus overcoming experience was brought to sitting down at the right hand of majesty. All right, that's Hebrews 1. By which he became who he already existed as the Lamb of God. We are overcoming in our souls and becoming who we have already been, the sons of God. <clears throat> so, the example of riding a bicycle, we're doing until we become one with the riding. Okay. At that time, we rest. Even the legs are moving, the hands are helping, the body is there on the bike, but we rest. Now, to not try to get on the bike, it's not rest. <laughs> well, brother, I do nothing. It's like the Lord says, hey, I want you to go and lay hands on. No, I do nothing. Let him do it. Lift up my hands, Lord. <laughs> Speak in tongues. Well, you have to open my mouth, Lord. Automatic. I want to see this force it comes and puts my jaw down. I'm, I'm starts moving my hand my no 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 you speak in tongues <laughs> as he gives you utterance you speak in tongues <laughs> so um yeah very very important to differentiate how carnal mind thinks rest right and what's the realm of rest so the purpose of the soul life is oneness back with the spirit by laying down the psyche soul life. So psyche soul life started in the garden after they ate from the wrong tree and they developed a separate source, a separate life of self of themselves until then all their life was the father after eating that's the independence if you want the separation which is sin that's the definition of sin it's a separation you have a separate life source and that's the psyche energy um, the mind the universe um, uh, you know, five senses, what you feel from this. It gives me a good vibe. It gives me all this. This psyche has a separate, separate source. <laughs> yeah, the, those people that try to convince you that actually your source is God no matter what, that's not true. If, if that was true, then Jesus didn't have to come to die for us the cross was not needed if if by meditation you can come back into the source and discover somewhere down deep in in you the source then why did Jesus have to come <laughs> to show us how a guru lives like no 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 he died on the cross <laughs> He had to defeat that. He had to defeat the separation. He, he had to be separated in sin. He had to become sin, become the separation, so we can be reconciled. Okay? So, psyche is an independent life, some soul life. So, the existence of the soul, the place of creation and change, is always coming to an end 
by ceasing, by a rest, where every work is converted into spiritual existence. Luke 9.24 is, is you have to lose your life, that word there is psyche, is a soul life, so you can gain it. So the Zoe life, God's life, can come and manifest inside you. Okay? The salvation of our souls is actually the entering back into the right source, which is the possession of God, and bringing every work into eternal existence of the Spirit. Ephesians 1.14 talks about that. Salvation of the soul, Hebrews 10, 39. See, it's not just what you are saved from, but what are you saved for, which is the Spirit of God, which is Him. Oneness of Him, Spirit and soul. The sin was the separation. You could not get that source in yourself, in the separation. So, through Jesus, you come back into the right source, into the life of God. And um, I, I love Hebrews 1, 3 in Wist. It talks about Jesus who, being the brilliance of His glory, wow, and the exact reproduction of His essence, that's Christ and sustaining, guiding, and propelling all things by the word of His power. <laughs> Having made purification of sins, sat down on the right hand of the Majesty on high. Enter the rest of the Father. The Father enter rest, the Son enter rest. <laughs> wow, he he operated, he worked in the rest of the Father. The Father was in the day seven, but then the Son entered the rest and started the new Genesis, the new creation through the resurrection of death that was the first day <laughs> let it be light <laughs> the first day resurrection of a new creation hallelujah <laughs> second corinthians 3:18 now as for us we all with uncovered face reflecting as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are having our outward expressions changed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. According as this change of expression proceeds from the Lord, from inside out, the Spirit, this outward expression coming from and being truly representative of our Lord. See, this is what happened on the Mount of Transfiguration with Him. His soul was in perfect rest. <laughs> so from the Spirit, from who He was, one with the Father, there was God there. <laughs> Came right through the soul in rest. In the perfect position, perfect alignment. And then you shine through that body. Better than the noonday sun. Shining because who he was came right through... This is 2 Corinthians 3. This is what's happening to us. Coming from inside in rest. Blessing shining through the body. 
I do believe that the uh, manifestation of healing and health in the body of the believers in this end generation are going to come from the expression of the Lord from inside out. It's going to shine so powerful that cancers will go away and sicknesses will run because the power of life it's manifested in our mortal body that's why he says the the resurrection of Christ the life of Christ will come into our mortal body Genesis new Genesis it's coming through hallelujah <laughs>